Hello everybody, uh, this is Captain Kerb here starting off the Yoshi Engine tutorial series. Uh, we are going to be covering everything programming wise and in terms of making a mod using the engine. Uh, this tutorial is not here for any, if you're wanting to make any kind of sprites or if you need to do any kind of Adobe Animate work, I'd highly recommend BB Panzu and uh, other tutorials like ones from The Longest Solo Ever. Uh, he is a really good one, and I will of course link those down in the description. So without further ado, uh, I'm going to explain a little bit more about Yoshi Engine. We're going to dive a little bit into it before I actually run and start doing the actual engine work itself. So to start off, uh, Yoshi Engine is a fairly uh, non-programming wise engine. It's got a lot of uh, features to it that make programming a lot easier and make the overall mod work a lot easier. I'm able to make and port mods in a matter of hours, in fact, and already highly complicated ones as well. So I'm sure that once you practice it for a while, you'll get there too. So uh, the main thing, the main one of the main questions I get asked is, uh, is Yoshi Engine just a better psych? And I, my answer to that is no. No, it isn't. It's uh, completely different from Psych, and that's not just because it has a working stage editor. It's because it doesn't really do Lua support like Psych does. It has a lot more programming-wise features and crash-proof features that uh, Psych also doesn't have. It's a very uh, structurally sound program, uh, or engine, my bad, uh, where you're not going to be wanting to touch the source code a lot, and I won't be touching it, in fact, at all in these tutorials. So that's pretty exciting for anyone who doesn't like looking at spaghetti code, although I have been through the source myself, and it is very well coded. So uh, big props to Yoshi Crafter for making this, obviously. Uh, the engine itself is incredibly soft coded, and it is insane some of the stuff that you can do outside of the source that actually affects the source in the game but like i said we'll be talking about that a little bit later so a uh, brief explanation on the what this series is going to be is it's going to start off with the beginner the basics uh an intro to fnf like i'm a, i'm approaching this as if you're absolutely new to the game and you need an explanation of pretty much how everything works and I truthfully believe that that's the best because somebody might come in and they might be very new. So if you're not, if you already are experienced in that, I highly suggest uh, downloading the engine, doing that part of this tutorial, which will be just, just the first little bit and then uh, going straight to the next one. Uh, all right, so we're going to be looking at Yoshi Engine here. And as we can see, uh, here is the Game Banana link. That'll be in the description down below as well. I highly recommend going to the engine's GitHub page, so we're going to do that. And when we're there, uh, we're going to find the latest release, which is right here. It's 1.5.2. I might update this if uh, it ends up being... Uh, a, if the next version ends up coming out, which it will be coming out for later tutorials. So, once you're here, uh, I... Highly, highly recommend just downloading the Windows Zip, which we will do right now. And once you do that, uh, it'll install the zip file onto your computer. And there we go. So now we just click that. And all that we're going to do now is we're going to go back out into the downloads folder. We're just going to simply right click it. I You're going to need WinRAR or 7-zip for this. I highly recommend WinRAR as long as you're okay with dealing with a few pop-ups every time you use it. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to click right click and click extract files. And all that we're going to do is we're going to go down into, in this case for me, I'll be using my documents uh folder and I'm going to create a new folder and we're going to call it uh, Yoshi Engine uh, and in this one I'm going to call it for tutorials uh, because that's what I'm going to be using for it. I'm going to click OK, that'll export very quick uh, and then we're going to go to documents. We're going to go down where we can now see a folder Yoshi Engine tutorials is right there and here is the engine. 
Uh, this is all you need, really. Uh, I also will say that if we go back to the uh, actual um, uh, GitHub page, you can click on code, and one thing I will also recommend for debugging a lot is this documents folder. So all you have to do is go back to the original code page, click documentation, and then go to the doc folder. This has all of the MD uh, files, which are really great because they outline all of your code stuff. So if you want to, say, move the camera, it's got a, a camera movement function in there, and it's got uh, certain variables that you can use. But like I said, we'll be just uh, we'll be doing that a little bit later. I also recommend if I don't get the uh, tutorials out, or if it doesn't quite make sense, I would also very much recommend the wiki, which will also be linked down below. It's got it's constantly being updated. Yoshi Crafter is really great on this one, and it's got pretty much everything you need to make a basic mod. So with that, uh, let's go back to our file here, and we're going to click on YoshiEngine.exe, and I will get you acquainted with the Friday Night Funkin' game. Now, as you can see, it's loading up here, and we're going to get the tutorial. You can always click Enter to skip everything. Here is the opening screen. All we're going to do is press Enter. This is where, uh, so this is what it's going to look like when you originally open it up. It uh, doesn't look like much at first, uh, so I'll just kind of run through all the tabs to kind of show you what's going on here. So first up, we have the story mode. Uh, this is where you will find all of your base weeks in FNF. and um, All that you, you can uh, use the arrow keys to select difficulties. You know, basic stuff, uh, click enter to start a week. Uh, I'm not going to because uh, you can always just do it yourself to test it out. That's the story menu. Uh, next up we have the free play menu, uh, in which we'll be using a lot of. Uh, this has all of your individual songs in it. So when as we get modding here, I'm going to have the different songs that we'll be working on in this menu. And this will be mainly where we're testing out stuff as weeks. You have to play the entire week in order to actually test it out. So that's the uh, free play menu. Next we have the mods menu. The mods menu is fairly self-explanatory. It's all of the mods that you have installed. So in this case, we have two mods. And I can specifically show you that in the mods folder, you will see two mods. Uh, this will become important later once we start getting into making custom things. So that's the mods menu. That'll just show what you have installed. Uh, next is the donate, which I will click because it takes you to a link uh, to donate to the creators of FNF, which I highly recommend as well as they are going to create an incredible full game. So uh, if you if you have a little bit of pocket change to spare, do it. You know, it's totally worth it. Uh, next up, we have the credits uh, menu, which shows which you can actually customize yourself to create credits for uh, your mod team. And the great thing about Yoshi Engine's credits that none of the other engines that I know of have is actually multiple uh, multiple links. So if I go to Yoshi Crafter here, we can see his Twitter link, we can see his GitHub link, and we can see his YouTube link. If you press enter, you can go to that link. It's really cool in that way, so uh, obviously check that out. Go clicking around a bit. Like I said, check out these creators. They're really great people. Next up, we have the options menu. Uh, this is where we'll be spending a lot of time right now. And the first menu that we're going to start off is the keybinds menu, in which if you click enter, you can see your keybinds. Now, the great thing about Yoshi Engine, once again, is that it has, it supports multi-key, so if you're playing a mod like Shaggy on Yoshi Engine, uh, you will be able to see four, six, seven, and nine keys all being able to lay out, and all you do is you just find the one that you want, you press enter, and then you get this menu. And we're going to be setting ours to what I typically use. You can set it to whatever you use. All that you do is you click on the specific arrow that you want to change, and you just press the key on your key on your keyboard. In this case, I'm pressing D, F for down, J for up, and K for right. Then all that you have to do, and this looks a little bit weird at first, but once you get used to it, it'll make more sense. All you have to do is click back, 
and that'll save it, and then you just click exit. And look at that, now your keybinds are changed. Very cool. So let's head out, and we're going to go into gameplay settings next, in which you can find down scroll, middle scroll, which will essentially turn it into just one thing and force it to the middle, uh, your strum line, or your like actual notes that you're trying to line up. You've got custom force scroll speed. I don't recommend using this yet as it's still uh, pretty early in development, so if you need it for like a certain song, then go for it. Uh, note offsets, which you can set to uh, if you have a laggy computer. Bot play, reset button. Ghost tapping, which is great. I highly recommend leaving this on as it means that no matter what, if you tap a note, unless it's just in that space where you'd miss a note, you'd miss it, but otherwise you wouldn't. Accuracy mode, keep it on simple. Uh, the complex one gets... This This engine is very unforgiving in its inputs, we'll go with. Uh, it's, it's, a tr it's a more tricky version of FNF. It's more down to uh, the typical rhythm game. So next we have the GUI options. Uh, don't change the scale, 1.0 is good. Show timer, I usually leave this off because I don't like uh, my mods actually being shown the timer, but you can obviously turn it on if you like that. Press delay shows a little number of which you were on or off the note by. Accuracy obviously shows your accuracy. Accuracy mode uh, shows your accuracy mode. Number of misses shows your misses. Ratings shows your rating. You know, it's fairly self-explanatory. Average hit delay shows your average hit delay. Rating shows your rating. Animate the info bar actually uh, changes your info bar and I believe animates it in like a scroll fashion. So that's pretty cool. You can also show a watermark during your songs in case you don't in case you want to copyright them, which is actually really cool and I have never seen an engine do that. Next up we'll find customization here and uh, all of this stuff you probably just want to leave because it gets a little funky if you start messing around with it. You can actually customize your arrows here. If we click this, you can actually uh, change the colors of your arrows. Now for this tutorial, I'm not going to be doing that, but that's fairly self-explanatory as well. Go back to customization. Later on, I will show you guys how to do arrow skins, boyfriend skins, girlfriend skins, and the skin folder is for boyfriend and girlfriend and arrow skins. So we'll dive into that a bit later. Optimization and performances, I, unless you're running on an absolute potato of a keyboard key, computer that's worse than mine, uh, you, you shouldn't be messing around with this. Uh, this is pretty set pretty well. The engine runs really well, even on my not great computer. Uh, next up we have miscellaneous. Miscellaneous, uh, there's a green screen mode that is great for when you just want to record raw charts. It adds a green screen in front and essentially allows you to play the game without seeing any kind of distractions in the background. Hiding original game hides all of the original game. It basically just disables the mod folder for Friday Night Funkin'. And finally, the developer menu. This is super important because for the rest of this tutorial, I need you to have developer mode on. Click enter and change that on, and we will show what that uh, actually changed here. Now, when you go back, we have a whole bunch of new things. So that's where this tutorial really ends, and the next one will begin because in the next tutorial, we are already going to be diving into uh, making our first mod and doing uh, characters and creating a special mod folder. So I hope you all are excited, and with that, uh, thank you, bye.